Well, today marked the first time we've gotten an update from Kenny Payne since Louisville men's basketball had the summer workouts. And while the Cardinals have so many new faces to try to forget Payne's first season, there's a long way to go for improvement. Louisville had that historically bad year, the record of 4-28. and 28. Most of the kids had transferred out. He took over the team. But the talent overhaul, all the transfers and the new faces, Payne is still preaching patience. He says he doesn't want to think about the pressure of specific goals for this coming year. I cannot, in my mind, allow you to take that question to NCAA tournaments, to a number of wins. Listen, elephant in the room, guys. I know we got to win games. Every single time we take the floor, our job is to win games. But I am building a program. I am changing a culture, and in order to do that, I got to first get them to understand the process of winning. Rick Bozich and Eric Crawford both attended that news conference. They break down what Payne had to say in the latest sports page. We have just run back in where we have listened to little <laughs> basketball coach Kenny Payne, who we had not heard from for a while, and other than the White Sox pulling off a trade in the middle of it and throwing <laughs> off your concentration, what did you think of what the little coach had to say? You know, I thought about it, Eric, and I thought if I was him and I was talking, what would I say? And I'm not sure what he can say. It's not really a time for talking. Uh, it's a time for doing. Uh, after only winning four games, people really, I don't think, want to hear uh, about culture and those kinds of things. They want to hear about how many more games you're going to have to win. Uh, and I think he knows that, and he's in a delicate situation where you can't say, we're not going to win many more, you know, we're only – we're going to win 12, 10, 12, whatever, or we're going to make the NCAA tournament. You have to kind of be kind of vague about it, and he was. I think the most interesting thing he said was that the talent level on the team has improved. Guys are more competitive, and if they don't play defense, they're going to sit. Yeah, he did tell us that he thought that they were a step or two better uh, than they were a year ago, that they're picking up things faster than players did a year ago. If anything is, is better, they don't carry a lot of baggage that that – group that was in here a year ago had all of the losing and all of the weight of those expectations but this group has a weight of its own expectations as does Kenny Payne I think it's interesting he said he doesn't listen to the critics so if you've been saying bad things about him even on TV he's not hearing it at least that's what he says and I believe him in that I don't think he could stay sane if you weren't and and I do think the other interesting thing was he talked about being in Freedom Hall and and what it's been like for him to watch some of those games in TBT, seeing the reaction of the fans, having his current players in there and seeing the affection that those fans have for those players and the way they played, even showed him some tape after that. Uh, that's interesting. And I think that's something that especially the returning players set off a light bulb with them. We will continue to break down what Kenny Payne had to say. You can read a lot more about it on our website, WDRB.com. Just go there and click on sports.